Item Number SCP-4297-J Object Class Apollyon Special Containment Procedures The Australian government is cooperating with the Foundation to contain SCP-4297-J. Government in Exile Following Incident 4297-J.32 Containment of SCP-4297-J is currently unfeasible due to its ubiquity throughout the continent, as well as its primary anomalous effect. Should SCP-4297-J threaten civilian settlements, Mobile Task Force Tau-19 Apollyon I a Cracker, is tasked with luring them into uninhabited areas. Mobile Task Force Gamma-9 Vegemite, is responsible for maintaining distribution of amnestic laced foodstuffs to grocery stores throughout the Australian continent, to ensure that knowledge of SCP-4927-J fails to spread. SCP-4297-J is the designation for D. Nove Hollandae, commonly known as emus. You already know what emus are. Instances of SCP-4297-J are capable of communicating among themselves, and are highly intelligent. Using vocalizations described as, quote, if a didgeridoo can speak German, unquote, measured using standard Foundation avian intelligence test Beekman's World. Instances of SCP-4297-J typically utilize their beaks and feet to grasp and manipulate objects, often in conjunction with their claws. However, despite being observed by numerous members of MTF Gamma-9, this phenomenon is yet to be captured on video. Just take our word for it. Agent Moa, MTF Gamma-9 SCP-4297-J is capable of using memetic, antimemetic, infohazardous, cognitohazardous, patahazardous, and double data expunged anomalies to thwart Foundation attempts to contain it. It is believed that SCP-4297-J could possess the capability to disguise itself as other organisms to conceal its presence. See Incident 4927-J.5 That's preposterous. There's no evidence that we can do that. Dr. Evelyn Mew Instances of SCP-4297-J are capable of reproduction with other SCP-4297-J instances or non-anomalous emus generating eggs, designated SCP-4297-J-1. Similarly to non-anomalous emus, SCP-4297-J instances can each lay between 20 and 50 eggs per season, about 30-40% of which are fertilized and hatch new instances of SCP-4297-J. Similarity was determined by Foundation Ornithologist's review of over 450 hours of mating footage conducted over a long weekend. The remaining instances of SCP-4297-J-1 are unfertilized. Experimentation logs for SCP-4297-J-1 are available from the Biological Site-231 cafeteria to all personnel between the hours of 0600 and 1200 hours. For an abridged log, see menu <clears throat> I mean, uh, document 4297-J.001. SCP-4297-J show great resistance to Foundation containment and extermination efforts. More recently, however, SCP-4297-J instances have adopted guerrilla tactics, blending in with non-anomalous emus for protection, and using their natural speed to escape if disarmed or wounded. Discovery SCP-4297-J was discovered in 1932 when Australian soldiers were sent to aid farmers in an effort to clear the emu population from their land, only to be forced to return due to malfunctioning equipment, believed to be caused by a probability-altering effect. Suspecting foul play, the Foundation was contacted and attempted to Despite overwhelming superiority, all-consuming Art beaks to viciously castrate Australia's unconditional surrender. Incident 4927J.5 On October 21, 
1953. Foundation aerial reconnaissance discovered a previously undetected colony of emus, numbering over 6,000 instances, contained within a vast fence expanse in Western Australia, believed to have been run by an unknown GOI with hostile intent. In light of the imminent violation of the Veil Protocol, O5 Command voted 12 to 1 in favor of eliminating the SCP 4297 J and GOI personnel using a 10 kiloton yield nuclear bomb. Operation Drowned Ratite was conducted with the cooperation of the GOC and the Australian government under the guise of British nuclear testing. Following the SCP Foundation has issued a formal apology to the former staff of Brian's Ostrich Sanctuary. This must be a manifestation of 4297J's anomalous effect. They fooled us again, Agent Cassie Wari. Agreed. There's no way we could have prevented this. We had to be sure. 05-13-21 Containment procedures and further courses of action are currently under review.